First, my hose is for leaks. I'll make sure there's no puddles on the ground and no dripping fluids on the underside of engine and transmission. I'll inspect hoses for good conditions and no leaks. Next, the oil level, I'll check when the engine is off. Uh huh, yep. This is where the dipstick is located. I'll check that oil level is within safe operating range. That level must be above the refill mark. Now I'll move on to the coolant level. The side glass is here and there should be adequate level of course after one removes the radiator cap. I'll check the side glass and level must be above the refill mark for our power steering fluid. In the engine compartment, considering my alternator is boat driven, I'll check here for snugness half or three quarter inch play. I'm looking for cracks, frays, loose fibers, or signs of wear. As far as my air compressor, water pump, and power steering system, since they are gear driven, I'll check them to see if they are damaged or leaking and are mounting securely, of course. The steering box and hoses is securely mounted and not leaking. Looking for missing nuts or bolts since there isn't any let me see the power and steering fluid if it's leaking or it has damaged my power steering hoses now the steering linkage is links arms and rods are definitely not worn or cracked joints and sockets are not worn or loose and no missing bolts or cutter keys 